starts now. It will be something that is written down and it's in the books. And Cody would be very proud of it. Good evening. Tonight, a bill honoring a fallen West Valley officer is making its way through the Utah legislature. It's promising to close a loophole that allowed his killers back on the street years ahead of their jail sentence. News specialist Garner Mejia is live at the state capitol. Garner, that loophole is something we've been covering for some time. Yeah, that's right, you guys. And here's the thing. Those teens got out of jail uh, ahead of time. So not only did they do that, but they did so by committing another crime. And that's a loophole that Officer Cody Brotherson's mom wants to finally close down. Officer Cody Brotherson's legacy is stamped into the heart of the city that watched him grow and live his dreams. This is our, one of our Cody walls. And inside his mother's home. We have the Purple Heart that was awarded to Cody. The walls are covered with tributes. And this is what was displayed on the wall in Washington, D.C. But for all these plaques and medals, nothing means more than a piece of paper in the hands of lawmakers. It will be something that is written down and it's in the books. And Cody would be very proud of that. Jenny Brotherson is one step closer to seeing House Bill 67 come to life. It was the best day yesterday. It was so exciting to keep hearing everybody say yes, yes, yes. The bill requires those in the juvenile justice system to finish serving their time before being transferred into the adult system if they pick up additional charges. So the bill will essentially close, I'm going to call it a loophole. In Brotherson's case, two of the three teens convicted in his death were back on the streets years early when the adult system gave them a shorter sentence. They had committed an assault and another violent crime and got rewarded by being put in the adult system and getting out years earlier than they would have. To add insult to injury, the teens were involved in two shootings less than a month after their release. And again, they would not have been on the street had they been serving out their sentence for Cody's murder. Jenny hopes Cody's legacy will live on through bills like this one. Cody went into police work because he wanted to protect the community. And with these changes, um, the community is protected. Now, that bill uh, had a full approval through that House Judiciary Committee. It's now heading to the House floor. In the meantime, an update on the two teens. They're back in the court system. One of them is actually at the Salt Lake County Jail. He's awaiting a sentencing date for his involvement in that second shooting. I'm Garner Mejia, KSL.